Jaguars now as he'll go on offense first here in this third quarter. They built a good first half lead. Now they have a chance to add on to it. And what I'm thinking is that the offensive staff spent the entire halftime just working with them on here's what we think they're going to do to attack us in the second half. Nice first half that we've had, guys, but be prepared for some change-ups. We're going to see them when we kick it off in the second half. See how they handle any adjustments that might be made defensively. Offense looking to avoid a third and long. It's second and ten. Bortles going to give to Yeldon. And he powers his way up past the 30. They get six here after the incompletion, and it'll leave them with a third and four. And once again, leverage wins. The offensive line, lower than the defensive front. They moved them and found some good space for the guy carrying the ball. On the run, it's Robinson. And he'll get this up only to about the 33. Only a yard on the pick up there, and it's going to leave them with a fourth down. Now, that was a big-time play by the defense. They as well knew what... Here comes the Jaguars offense as they get set to go again. They're out in front. Last time they had to punt it away. We'll see if they can add to their lead now. They don't want to go out and, and punt it away again. This team now wants to get a cushion, put people away. They want to run their offense. And he will take this one in for a touchdown. Their dangerous wide receiver with an unbelievable fifth touchdown of the game. And the Jags take advantage of field position on the turnover to cash this one in. I know these wide receivers are about flash and dash and high-flying plays, but a good number of them played running back at... The Jags offense now gets set and heads back onto the field. And they will simply, Charles, be looking to duplicate what they did last drive when they were able to push it in for six. And they hope it'll be that easy, right? To be able to take exactly what happened before, replicate it. They've got to make a few additional changes along the way because I'm sure the defense will make some adjustments, but they've got to have great confidence having scored the last time out. You know what really fires up offensive linemen? When the guy that is carrying the ball behind them can create his own space and break a tackle along the way. And after the play on the ground, that brings up second down here. Three down, three down. Now we go now. Three, 39. Three, 39. Portals to throw on second down. And the hit jarred it loose. It's incomplete. Portal's going to try and throw on third down. So he couldn't find his man there as it falls to the ground. Out comes the Jaguar offense now as they get set to take over. They've got the lead. Last time had to punt it, though. What's the key to this drive? I think it's leverage. Oh, the leverage. big guys up front. You know the motivational speech on the sideline is, guys, give us an opportunity. There he goes, left side. Touchdown. A big play there. Joining only Gail Sayers, his men with a six-touchdown performance in a single game. And the Jaguars had six to their lead. Well, after another passing touchdown, I don't think it'd be an understatement to say that he's in the zone. And I believe he likes it. Second down. 
And that's one of his advantages of a passer, is it not? With his height, setting back there in the pocket, firing it over the middle, he can really see everything clearly. It is, and I know that other quarterbacks get it done different ways, all right? You don't have to be his height to make a great play, but what he does is he takes away having to make those slide steps in the pocket. This is caught inside the 15. Touchdown! Their dangerous wide receiver setting the NFL bar. Here comes the Jaguars offense as they get set here. And they'll just simply be looking to build off the confidence of the last time out where they scored a touchdown. And confidence is powerful, isn't it? When you scored once, you feel like you can go back out there and get it done again. Doesn't matter what the defense throws at them. They feel like they're in a groove right now, and they want to get out there and show it. Yeah, hoping to stay in that groove here this go around. On first down, Bortles. Middle of the field, it's Robinson. And he's going to get this inside the 30. Three quarters in the books. We'll return with more after this break. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. Back now at Soldier Field. A lot of folks starting to make their way to the parking lot. Their guys trail big here to begin quarter number four. Here we go. Green, 30. Black 58 rail. Black 58 rail. Bortles gives to Yeldon on the draw. They give him four yards there. It'll be second and six. Not a run that you're going to write home about, but still a good first down run. That's what an offense calls staying on schedule. Three to four yards on first down. You're set up very well for the rest of the drive. See if they stay on the ground for second down. Three down, three down. Here we go. Blue 45. Again, it's Yeldon. And he's going to take this one down to about the 23-yard line. Two yards the game there, and now they're left with a third and about four for a first. So following the run, we'll see what they do here on third down. Partner, we know today's NFL is really built around the guy throwing the football. But these short runs, they still pay dividends because they can take their toll on a defense, and they can add up as the game goes along. You control the clock, you control the ball, and that way you often control the game. Looking to jam the receivers at the line here. Press coverage look defensively. Here we go now. Blue 45. Throwing his Bortles on third down. Unable to connect there on the pass play. The Jaguars offense now heads back onto the field. And they split the uprights last time for three. They've got the lead. They're not going to play this conservative. They're, they're not hoping for another field goal. They're hoping for a touchdown. I'm with you on that one. I like where your head is. I like the way you're thinking because you're exactly right. Trying to sit on a lead and play that way, that doesn't work too well for most teams. Run your offense. Run what Put you do best. Exactly. Put it all the way down and try to increase your lead in a big way. The best way to do it, Touchdowns. Here we go now. They come out here in the eye. The wide receiver moving to a new spot. Bortles will try again on second down. And this time he's got the hookup. It's complete. Six yards on the pickup. And all of a sudden here, it's third down. What I love about watching the passing game nowadays is that the one-dimensional receiver is really starting to leave the game. You've got to be able to do it all. Of course, you've got to run fast. Of course, you've got to catch the ball. But route running savvy and toughness is a premium for all of that now. Bortles, and he gets into the end zone for the touchdown. Julius Thomas, his second... Out comes the Jacksonville offense as they get set to take over here. Hey, hey, hey. Blue 
They'll start out on the ground. It's T.J. Yeldon. And he'll get this up to about the 38-yard line. Three yards on the pickup there, and it'll be second down. Some of the most unselfish players on any football team, defensive tackles, because we ask them to just eat up blocks and allow other people to make tackles. But when he can make a play himself, as we just saw there, that's a big day. And getting this just shy of midfield, they'll spot it at the 49. When a coaching staff sees their team run the ball this successfully in the fourth quarter, they're really excited because you can plan for a running game all you want and want to press that advantage when you get it. But for the most part, it's a little bit of a surprise. And right now, they've got to keep that going, want to continue to grind out the clock because it's definitely in their favor at this stage of the game. Can they close the game out and continue to do exactly what we just saw there? And that's run the football. Now they'll throw it. Bortles. Oh, he got position on him, and he pulls it in. A really nice gain of 25 yards. Well, we haven't been shortchanged on offense. Another fun play to watch there on the deep pass. This game has the feel of, what, a, a turkey bowl, a Thanksgiving day. You know, when we get together this year, when the Davises and the Gardens get together, <laughs> that's what our playbook's going to look like, like they're drawing them up in the dirt. And so far, it's working for both of them. Delayed game, offense. Still first down. And on the outside, they're playing press coverage. Here's Bortles to throw. And this is caught at the eight. And touchdown! Their dangerous wide receiver extending the NFL record with his eighth touchdown of the game. And the Jaguars continue to roll. Well, it's safe to say that at least two people have a great relationship on this offense. Quarterback and receiver today. They are locked in, and they know exactly what the other is going to do. And the end result, touchdown after touchdown. Here comes the Jaguars offense as they get set to go again. And that last drive, a long drive, but not just that. They had a great air attack going. Do they stick with that? I would think that they would because if they were confident enough to do it on the last drive, starting backed up in their own territory, why would you change anything? They've got to be confident about what they're presenting and continue to do so. Yeah, because the secondary, they really looked clueless. And that was amazing because that drive went and went. No adjustments and no big plays by the defense to knock the ball away. Give him five on the carry there, and it'll be second down. And that's exactly what you want on a first down run. Pick up five yards, bring up second and five. The defensive line, though, they've got to figure out a way to out leverage the guys up front because the offensive line is winning at the point of attack. Bortles. Oh, he's got a man wide open, complete. And he'll be taken down, but not before he gets into enemy territory. And on that last play there, he's over 400 yards passing now. And you know what that generally means? Success. <laughs> yeah, that, and it means you really didn't miss opportunities. Usually very accurate. The ball's getting to the right place. Guys are making yardage after the catch to help you out that way. I mean, the whole team has picked it up. And don't forget, that means the offensive line has had to pass protect pretty well, too. Yeah, everyone dialed in. Well, I'd say that run's pretty emblematic of what we've seen all day long, no matter what they've done on offense. This offensive line has controlled the line of scrimmage, giving them time to throw it, run it, do whatever they wanted. That's why their point's up on the board. And right now, the psyche of the offense, we're in control, and we can do whatever we feel like doing out here on the field. It's a seven-yard carry to set them up with a second and three. This drive is turning to an extended one, and, and the guy carrying the ball, he's becoming more like a body boys guy. Every carry is putting some damage on the defense. So after a while, I'm not too sure how many guys are going to want to run up and tackle him. A nice pick up there, 10 yards, and it'll move the sticks. Another good run there, and now we're seeing an offense that's imposed its will on a defense. When we talk about that all the time, what does it really mean? It means that the guys on the offensive line, they feel like they can do whatever they want. They're in the huddle saying, run it again. Give us another chance to smack someone and create some space. On the defensive side of the ball, not only have they imposed their will against you, you're almost powerless to figure out what you're doing there, but you got to keep your spirit up at the same time 
And they're taking that, too. Now a handoff here to his running back. Give him three on first down. It'll set up a second and seven. Well, so many times we look at a short run and we praise the offense for trying to set the tempo and establish things, but the defensive guys, hey, they just won the battle there. It wasn't a big run given up. They don't always have to absorb the body blows. Sometimes they dish them out themselves. And this will be caught. And the carnage continues. It's another touchdown. And he's a little bit on the shorter side as a receiver. Maybe sometimes for the defense, tough to find the little guys, right? Yeah, sometimes they get lost in the traffic, but you...